Hey guys! Oh my gosh. <laughs> really quick, I just wanted to show you my Walgreens haul. I got some junk food, but I got healthy. Healthy snacks. Um, because feeling down, a little down <laughs> today. Well, maybe within the last two hours. I found out my best friend got married and didn't tell me anything about the wedding. So yeah. Y'all, mind you, I spoke to her. I've been talking to her like every day. And all of a sudden she sent me pictures of her and her husband. I'm pissed. And I'm really just like not talking to her anymore like I know I'm mad but mm, when you send somebody a box and ask them to be their bridesmaid and you get married without them knowing anything and then you lie and say I told you I was getting married if you would have told me when you were getting married I would have made sure I was there It has been a day to day. So, let me show y'all what I got. Let me show y'all. Y'all know I love my crackers. My cheese crackers. So, I got some Cheez-Its. Extra toasty. I got some cheddar goldfish. These were 59 cents. And I believe these were only... Sorry, y'all. I dropped it. I believe these two items were only 59 cents because it's gross or it just it just crumbles at this point it's not even full pieces but zero sugar beef jerky and then I don't like spicy stuff but I would like for 59 cents I can try it and if I hate it I can throw it away and not feel bad. But spicy sesame garlic jerky. 59 cents. See how it's already like crumbled up and everything? Like it's not even pieces. Whole pieces for real. I got me some sugar free Jolly Ranchers. Yum. Yes. And I got some sugar-free red vines in a strawberry flavor. And I am looking forward to trying these. Four twists are only 100 calories. So I think this is what I'm going to munch on tonight. And I'm going to try this one. So that is my evening, you guys. I'm just like... I'm, I'm very disappointed and I'm hurt because I was supposed to have been there even if I don't care for who she's marrying like I'm still supposed to be there to support no matter what and she probably didn't invite me because she knows I don't care for him I just don't think he's right for her um and I've expressed my feelings regarding it to my best friend. But, you know, when someone is in love and they don't see red flags that they choose to ignore and they do what they want to do, that's what they want to do. Hey, who am I? People, people may change, right? But I don't know. So, I still wanted to be there to support her. And, you know. <sighs> wow, that's all I can say is wow. I'm, I'm just, mm, I'm out of words. I didn't cry. I was going to, but then I was like, no, because this isn't worth my tears. Like, she had who she wanted with her at her wedding, in her wedding party. And, whew, I was just not one of them, which sucks. And I mean, even if it was like due to COVID, Okay, somebody could have video chatted me 
so I could at least been there in spirit or saw like I didn't even know like I talked to my best friend on I say that loosely now but I talked to my best friend on Friday a couple times on Friday I didn't know anything about a wedding on Sunday today like <sighs> all right rant over I'm going to taste this and enjoy this and oh y'all my aunt called me today she's like you doing a five dollar challenge i'm like no i said i had started to save but then i just you know put the money in other categories she was like oh well i want you to do it with me and i'm like i i'm doing two challenges right now so she's like well I'm doing you should do the ten dollar challenge with me and I'm just like and I can't say no to my aunt because I don't see her often and I don't so when she's like excited about something and she wants me to be involved I feel obligated because it's like our thing to talk about like you know we're developing a thing like she's a reader I'm a writer she's read all my books we talk about books like it's kind of our thing and I just think that because she's super excited about this she wants to bond you know what I mean which I really like <laughs> so I guess I'm saving my tens I mean wish me luck with that because oh you guys it just seems like it just seems like I get a 10 every other day it's a 10 she's like I'm saving my 10s I'm starting tomorrow and I'm like okay auntie we can start tomorrow let's just hope I'm consistent with this she was like yeah we're gonna do it and we're gonna hold each other accountable and I'm just like oh, okay so yeah that's that but I just wanted to let y'all know how I was feeling and I really had to let it out. Like, I talked to my mom about it. And, you know, I had a nice long talk with my mom. But I talked to my mom about it. And she was just like, I'm just so sorry that, you know, the people in your life keep hurting you and disappointing you. And she was like, me included. And I'm like, you know, it's time for me to be Beyonce. And having me myself and I because like the level of like disappointment that I go through and granted I'm really I'm a very sensitive person I'm extremely sensitive so it's kind of like disappointment times five in a sense because I'm sensitive but um that I mean, in time, I'll forgive, but, like, I just feel like the level of, like, loyalty and, like, friendship is shown its true colors, and it's shown that it's different. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, but I'm going to go for the third time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!